If you've been wanting to create your own brand elements, but you just use Canva to create your designs, you might think, well, I don't know if I can do this because I need to create vectors, create different illustrations and different shapes and things. And Canva just has all these limitations, so I can't really do that. Well, today I wanna to share with you an app in Canva called Tracer. Now, this allows you to draw things, bring them into Canva, and it will trace them and turn them into SVGs as in vectors, so you'll be able to recolor them and resize them, which will allow you to use them as elements for your brand. So you could use these in your logo, you can use them as graphic elements as part of your branding. So it really opens things up because you can design really custom and interesting things and then turn them into SVG vectors so that you can easily resize them and use them however you want. So let's take a look at how you can do this. All right, so first thing you want to do is create some sketches. So what I've done is on a piece of paper, drawn some things and then I'm going to scan and bring those images in now if you think I'm not much of an illustrator how could I be doing that you also can trace some things so you could print off some images of actual physical objects or take some photos you know get your camera on your phone out maybe take a photo of something that you want to have a graphic of and then just put it up against a window and trace around and create those edges. You don't have to be just drawing, you know, just from eye. You can use different elements and things to try and build those images to create what you want. And it can just be simple illustrations too. It doesn't have to be complicated. It just depends what you want to create so you can create some graphic elements for your brand. Plus imperfect illustrations can actually have a lot of personality to them. So you're bringing more personality into your brand with your own drawings. You don't have to be this perfect eye makes something look really realistic. Sometimes those imperfect things actually have so much more personality for a brand. So what I'm going to do once I've created my illustrations is just simply take a photo on my phone. So if you don't have a scanner, you can simply just take a photo of it on your phone. And then in the editing, you basically just want to put the contrast and things and the brightness, things like that up. So, so there isn't too much distraction there and you can really clearly see your illustration. So what I'm going to do is then go into the Tracer app. So if you so if you can't find it, basically in Canva, you want to go to apps and then search the word tracer, and then you're able to upload your image. So now we're gonna wait for it to upload. So as you can see, it has brought it in and we can also adjust the threshold here if we need to make some adjustments. So I just wanted to play with the threshold a bit to get rid of that bit of shadow. So at first you notice there was a little bit of shadow showing up on the bottom. So playing around with the threshold number, I've got it to a point where that shadow isn't showing anymore. So you may need to make those adjustments if you've got little bits of shadow and things like that. So once we've got it, then we can just click add to design and it's done. Like it's just from my illustration, it's now created a vector. Now, the only thing is that whatever you bring in as one image, it's going to create it as one image. So if you wanted these as separate illustrations, you would need to basically do them on separate pieces of paper and scan them in individually. Now, what's great about this, as you can see, is we can now change the color. So we can now choose what color we want this to be. So it wouldn't matter what you use as your actual illustration. You can choose whatever color you want in Canva. So I would recommend drawing in black because that's going to be the easiest thing to get high contrast when scanning. Then you can choose your colors. You now choose those exact brand colors you've got in Canva. So now what about filling it in? So obviously this is just some outlines. What if we want to add other colors and other things that we can fill in? Now what we could do is go into elements and just use shapes. So we could just grab things like these shapes and you can just build them up. So you could just like grab a piece here then duplicate it a few times so you sort of get that cool shape. You know, just basically build something using shapes and then layer send to back and then we've sort of got this colored bit like that but then also as you can see there's more complex things that so could take you a while to fill that in with a shape so going back to apps and tracer what I've done now is actually done a drawing where it's like a fill in so what you can do to do that is trace again so you want to get a white bit of paper put it so you basically get your drawing sorry so you'd basically get your drawing put a piece of paper on top you can even put it over a window so you can see it really well and you're just sort of creating that fill in the shape that you want to create so let's go back here choose a file and now we're going to bring in this new one so as you can see it's created our fill in shape again if you need to you can play with threshold then add to design 
And as you can see, we've now got that shape. So you want to resize it now so it fits where you wanted it to fit. And as I said before, you're going to have to do these things separate. So I went and drew them all together just because I was trying to quickly put this together. But you would need to individually. So you'd need to create, you know, that body image as I did with one. The beak is separate. These legs are separate. So you'd actually have to trace them in individually to get them all as separate elements. But I just want to show you how this would work. As you can see, you can create that shape. Then you can create the color you want and just place it behind that line. So that's how you could create that fill in. And as you can see, it's, it creates something really interesting with a lot of personality because it's based on drawings. And because it's vector, we can resize it any size and use it as these graphic elements in our branding. So we can really create some interesting and fun things that are very unique for our brand. And we can do it all without complicated software. You saw how fast that was. So the thing that would take the longest is your initial drawing. Once you've actually stuck it in Canva, it is so quick. So you can create some really fun personality filled elements for your brand all in Canva. So have a play around with it. Try some fun little illustrations, scan them in, put them in the Tracer app and see what you can create because I think you can create some really personality fun filled things for your brand using this technique. As you can see, it's really, really easy to do this and you can create some really fun and custom things and then create vectors in Canva, which is just amazing because it means you can create your own custom graphic elements. So you can really make custom things for your brand and you're not needing to use any other outside or fancy tools. You can do it all within Canva. Now, if you'd like to see more Canva tutorials or learn about branding and graphic design, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time.